Hello everybody, life in the big city is not always that easy, but thankfully as of uh, today, I was privileged to come upon a rare occurrence thanks to a tip from my mother. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus, a Target exclusive. Jurassic World and you can see here you have John Hammond and Ellie Settler and Alan Grant and the Brachiosaurus and the Brachiosaurus and the Brachiosaurus and Parasaurolophus and another Brachiosaurus with this kid holding it and the name Brachiosaurus and box damage and trees and that and things you really want to see like how to put it together and more information and the UPC this item is absolutely fascinating and I've been watching it for months really just eyeing it and really wanting it and now the time has come Thanks to my mom for finding this and telling me about it. There were two. And when I came back five hours later from having to work, there was only one left. This one. Here's the words that advertise that it's posable. And that's how posable it is with the tail. Swings back and forth. And then neck with the head attached which when it's down like that looks kind of silly looking but when it goes like that yeah that's cool it does have a crook in the neck i'm not a fan of that but that's the way it is to where it looks off to this way more but from the side it doesn't really bother me as much when you see this symbol and you know it is a part of the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. Here's the Jurassic World Legacy Collection giant logo. You can see how big that is to my hand, but you don't know how big. So, I've been so busy. I've just not had time to open this yet. I had to drive a good 45 minutes away from my home just to pick this up in the hope that it would still be there. A chance I had to take. And... All because my mom let me know and a grueling five hours that I had to wait but thankfully everything pulled through and I was able to get the last one even though the other one was bought unless it's laying around on the shelf somewhere in the store besides in the toy aisle <laughs> so now we're looking at just how big this is I'm not talking about my stomach I'm talking about the size of this box. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, if you were collecting Star Wars, you could fit a whole entire village in this thing. I don't know about you, but that's one happy kid with his Brachiosaurus. 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 There it is. Man, this thing is ginormous. And don't forget this. You can scan that on the Jurassic World Facts app and add them to your collection with the little barcode thingy underneath his foot. Okay, everybody, I'm armed with this. Just carefully slice and dice, slice and die. Oh, crap. So you open her up and great, Scott. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, get ready for this. <gasps> oh, I see a tail. Oh, I see a giant tail. Oh, I see a tail in the back. It's a brachiosaurus. Giant tailosaurus. And I'm going to pull it out. And I don't know why I'm singing like this. Probably from watching King Kong. Now we're going to take out this piece. Alright. Well, that piece is attached, so I'm not going to... Okay. Well, look at there. Yeah, wow. 
Get in there. Okay, so here is the torso. The ginormous, ginormous torso. Man, it's hard to do this with one hand, you know. Okay, so I'm pulling it out. I'm trying to give you a look here. That's the torso. It looks like an elephant. And this is the neck. And the head. How great is a glare? Yeah. So, like... And that's where you attach. This is way cool, man. Dude. So I'm going to like assemble this here in a minute. There's all the pieces you get. Three pieces. And there's the box. And there is nothing else in the box. Except maybe instructions. Okay, I just checked and there are no instructions in the box. Yeah, first of all, I'm taking these and setting them on my stove. Because they're hot items. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm going to hang on. So my hands and my hands in the way. Hang so on. take two, take two. Uh, this is the neck joint uh, with the little arrow pointing in. Um, and all the places where it like fits. Um, this it goes there and all the way to there. Now it's really big and muscular like an elephant. And this is oh gee. The back I'm doing with one hand. This is where the tail goes in. There. Okay. I'm gonna stand this little little. I'm gonna stand this giant puppy. Not puppy. I'm gonna stand this giant dinosaur torso. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh little imperfections in the skin. Alright, at this point in the game, we are actually starting to get somewhere. Sort of. Okay, so you have this like tape and you just like pull it. And then you just like wiggle the little tail up. I mean, the big giant tail up. And, uh, first things first. You can already see that this is where it's going to be on the bottom. This is going to be on the top. And the reason I know is because you have this big, obvious ridge at the top of the tail. And this is the seam for the lines, like on the T-Rex, for the bottom of the tail, where the, you know, like, muscular part. Well, it's all muscular. But anyway. So, you can always obviously tell this is the top, and this is obviously the bottom. And it's, come on, it's obviously not that hard. Okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, this is the back, of course, obviously. And this is... The top of the Barachiosaurus tail, obviously. And I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you in there, and then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna attach it, and you're gonna hear it pop, and I'm gonna do it right the first time, as there's no turning back. No, I'm just kidding. You can't do it wrong, people. You can't do it wrong. There's a notch right here. Look at this thing cannot go in backwards, as far as I'm concerned. Alrighty. There we go. Let's pop that in there. Alright. Ready? Ready? Woo! Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Funko pop. Hey, what's that doing in there? Okay, you can see that the Brachiosaurus is already starting to take shape and it's already headed towards my water supply. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at the range of motion. I'm doing this with one hand too. Range of motion, one hand, no head and neck yet on, yet, yet, nope. And the tail can move, <sighs> not very good with one hand, but pretty good in a minute. All right people, let's do this. I'm going to take this out of the bag. Okay, now, 
There's the back part. Up inside there, there's an arrow. There's a... <gasps> Whoa! There's a notch. Man, I caught that. Okay. See, it's because there's a curve there that I wasn't expecting. When it's not laying flat. Look at his face. Man, a lot. Oh, darn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Okay, ready? Look at that. Pretty mouth and teeth and tongue. And after biting a dinosaur, with the drop of your blood. Okay. Let's see. That is so cool. Okay, we're going to attach it next. So hold on to your horses. Okay, so you can see inside there that it's going to go like this. It has a little turn to it when you do it. There's a little turn there, so you can't mess up really. See that? There's a little notch thing on the right, and then there's like a groove thing right there. And it's going to match up with that groove. And the notch thing is going to match up with the other notch thing right there. And that's how it's going to go on. And we're going to do this. Here's her pretty face. Long neck. It's always one of my favorites when I was a kid. Okay, so I have this thing like sitting in front of my stove and it's big enough to be one of my like a pet animal or something. It's bigger than a cat. It's like it's about as big as two and a half cats actually. Addition. You can see the where it breathes. You can see where it, its ear is, its eyes, the mouth with the tongue and the teeth to tear off. Um uh, to shred the uh, not shred, but pull off the vegetation from up high and then it pulls back and it holds the vegetation trims off in those nice teeth I don't know if I explained that quite right, but if You get it, it has a long 30 foot neck as they said in the movie it Was all the way down a nice uh, Elephantine body and feet uh, and the front feet and the toenails they're not painted and the back feet and the toenails they're not painted and the nice tail with the ridges on top and nice muscular back flip it over and this nice cream color underneath the neck and the mouth and the belly and right to there. And then you have the nice Jurassic World fax app. Is it heavy? Well, it's really light compared to how big it is, honestly. It's really light considering what it could be. Um, I think it's hollow. It's really huge. Really, really, really huge. I love it and I want a second one now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you're not supposed to be watching that. So, uh, <clears throat> man, it's big. It's really big. It's, I can't even get the whole thing in the shot at one time. But it doesn't, it doesn't weigh so much that I can't hold it with one, one hand, which is nice. It it's, does cast a rather large shadow. It's a very awesome item. I do recommend it. I do recommend getting a second one. I don't know about a third one. Depends how crazy you are. But uh, I do like it. I don't really like the crook in the neck. The crook in the neck. I'm not so cool with how much crook in the neck. But it is a very giant, fascinating, large, not way so much hollow, mostly exclusive item. And I'm glad to have it. And I think you will be too. Thank you for click, like, subscribe. Until next time, this is my channel, Stormy Cloud 21. Usually I do stovetop reviews, but this time I did one on the ground due to the 
nature size of this item. Thank you. Talk soon on my next future videos.